Hey everybody, Bill it here. I'm going to do a short video. Try not to get carried away and talk about other stuff. Um, so, I've been asked, how do you turn off the thermal? Because some people are getting uh, thermal thermal errors, saying, oh, you know, my hot end is not hot, or my bed temperature is not hot. How do I do that? How do I turn it off? Where do I go? What do I do? So I'm going to show you how to do all this so that you get so that you know. Um, in fact, some people still haven't figured out how to get the right version of Arduino, and you need Arduino. So Arduino IDE is the software that is used to to edit and compile the software for the AT Mega 2560 processor, which is what is normally in most 3D printers, and is what is in the Ceram bot. Uh, it's similar to this board. This is a different board, but it's basically the same thing. This has an Arduino right here. This is the process. Oops, oh, you can't see it. Sorry. Turn on my other camera so you can see it. So, right here on the board is the Arduino, is an Ard, is a AT Mega 2560 chip. It's a, it's a, basically a reduced instruction set processor. They used to call them RISC processors, but uh, they changed the names now, or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, that's it's a, I believe a 32-bit processor, uh, but no matter. So what do you need to do? How do we get started? Where do we go? What do we do? So there's some things you need to be able to do. There are some manuals that you'll find on some Rambot's websites in their download section. One of them is, um, where is that? Wiring and firmware. So in wiring and firmware, there are some settings that are in there, and we'll go through all this. So, I've already done all done this before, but I'm going to go through the whole process all over again, and we'll go through it all. Um, first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download the Sarambot software. So let me turn off that overhead camera now. And you know, right here it's got the link to it. You go to the GitHub Sarambot. Start there. You got to get that first. It'll, it'll be a zip file, you'll download. So let's let's show how to do it. Let's see if I can if control click works here and get that open. So it opens GitHub. You go here, it says clone or download. You click on clone or download. Oh, you can't see that again. God, I hate that. Let me reduce my my size of my video of me here. Come on. That's not letting me change it. Ah. Am I doing the wrong one? Okay. I'll change the size of that of my video screen here. Okay, right here is clone or download. You click on that and then say download the zip. When you click download the zip, it's gonna open up down here at the bottom of your browser and click the arrow where save is and click save as. And then go to a directory where you know where it's at. Um, I'm preparing for another video, that's why you see Marlin 2.0 here. So we're going to go to my volume here, and it's under here, and then it's under Surroundbot. And in here, uh, under firmware, there's a zip file. I've already downloaded it, so it's this file right here, master.zip. And, and then click Save. Then you'll have the software. Then you have to unzip it. So you go in and you just double click it and, and you can unzip it. So you unzip the file and that part's done. Okay? Next thing we need. We need to go find Marlin. Or, uh, yeah, Arduino, sorry. The Arduino IDE. So let's go search for Arduino. A-R-D-U-I-N-O. And we'll open up Arduino. And we go, it opens up the Arduino web page. And let's see, I think it's under resources. No, not there. Unity, no, 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 no. Software. So downloads. We're going to go to software downloads. And we don't want the web editor. Ignore this web editor. We're not going to, you don't want to edit through the web. So go down here to uh, Arduino 1.8.11 is the newest on the Arduino site. And that's what we're going to download. And we want, in my case, Windows Installer. Uh, so you just click on that, 
or you can go for the zip file for non-admin install. Uh, click the non-admin install because you're, depending on how your computer is set up, it may want you to be an administrator to do things. But if you want to do a non-administrator install, then click on the zip file. Uh, I like using zip files because I save it then on my computer, so I always can go back to that. If I upgrade for some reason, the upgrade doesn't work or whatever, I can always go back and move back in time and, and go to something I've already got. So if you click on the zip file, it's going to work exactly the same as the RAMBOT did. Um, you can go to just download or you can contribute money. The people that work on Arduino and stuff, a lot of them, a lot of these things, they aren't making money other than by donation. They don't get paid unless people donate money. I've already, down, I've already donated before, so I'm not going to donate again right now. I'm not getting anything new that I, that I don't already have. And you get the same thing. Get this window, go into save as, and pick a location that you know where, it's, where you know it's going to go. And do the same thing we did before, okay? So once you have that zip downloaded, you do the same thing. You unzip it, and then you need to run the install. And then you'll install it. And once it's installed, you're done. The other way you can do this is you go in here, you can tell... Uh, if you're Windows 10, you can go in here and do a search and look for Arduino. And once you have the Arduino software, you can go there and, it'll, it'll, and you can load it directly from Windows without having to go to the web page. So that's the way, you, there's two different ways you can do it. All right. So once you have Arduino installed and you have your zip file installed, you'll need to go to Facebook and go to Sarambot Group and I'm in the Sarambot group, and you go to Files, and then these files will appear. I already clicked More, and then look, the, the current version I use, a Configuration H and Configuration Advanced, I, was from December 15th. That was what was used in my firmware install video for the Sarambot already. Use those same two files. I, I don't want to go back and try and use something different right now, because I, I don't, I'm unfamiliar, I haven't tried these, I don't know what's going to happen if I try and load those. Use the ones I already know that we've already used and have already worked. Uh, you can try and update them later if you want, but follow the video in the beginning so you know what you're doing. All right, so we, once you have those loaded, you'll need to copy. Once you, so let's go here and, and hit it. And so you've got four versions now, so I don't know. On this. So, uh, that was advanced site. So you can grab the latest version, I guess, if you want. Um, and then you can save it, just like you did the other files. Once you save it, you'll need to copy it. And then you'll need to move that. So you need to copy it. Let's go ahead and do a save as. Uh, save as. And I'm going to save it into, uh, into the Sarambot folder, uh, firmware my firmware folder. I'm going to save it here. Okay? And I'm going to go back. And I'll go back again. Oops, went too far. Okay, go to Files. And go down. Here it says show, see more. Go find see more. And find the config.h and click it. And then it'll give you all those. So we chose version 4. Let's skip with version 4. We'll grab that, and then you do it again, same thing. They save as. The directory should be already where you put your config advanced.h, and we'll save that one. Now we have both of them. So now what you want to do is go into your file explorer, and we'll go here into firmware, and you'll see those two files that we just downloaded are right here. So take those and you copy them. So we'll copy, and then it says you've already unzipped, your SRAMBOT master zip file, you'll have a SRAMBOT master folder. You go in there, you click it, click the next folder, click the next folder, then go here to Marlin, that folder, and then say paste for those two files and paste them. I'm not going to do it right now. I've already got the files I want to use in here and I've already edited them and done all the stuff to them, so I'm not going to mess with it. Okay, so once you've done that and you've copied those two files, now you can open Arduino, the Arduino IDE. And all you do is roll down within the Marlin directory that you're already in, find the Marlin INO file, and say open, and open with Arduino IDE. 
and then it'll open Arduino, and it'll open all the, the files that are needed to compile and build the project that will get programmed into the printer. So now we're waiting here as it opens up. <coughs> all right, so now it's open. So now we're gonna, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go into our configuration.h file. And we're going to do a search. So you can, you, there's two ways you can do a search. You can go to, I believe it's edit, and you say, go down and find a place that says find right here. You notice it's got the shortcut keys, control F. I tend to use the shortcut key, you might go control F, it opens the find window, and we'll type in thermal. T H E R M A L. Thermal. Ignore case. I always choose ignore case, but I, can, I don't know if it's all caps or if it's, if it's upper and lower case or whatever, so I just leave it as ignore the case. And I'll do a find. And here you'll find your thermal settings. In here it talks about the, the types of resistors for thermist or thermistors. So a thermistor is a thermal resistor. It's a resistor that changes the resistance as the temperature changes. So that's really what a thermistor is. So these talks about the different kinds that are available out there depending on what you have in your printer. We have none. So what you want to do is right in here it talks about it. But within the file that is on the uh, on setting up the uh, wiring and firmware, it talks about these things too. So if you scroll down to it, you'll find it right in here. And here's where we're at. You'll find these things right here. Define temperature 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 sensor zero nine nine eight. Define temp sensor one zero. Temp sensor two zero three zero four zero. Temp sensor bed zero. Temp sensor sensor chamber zero. Now there's a thing called dummy thermistors after that, and and you got to set these up. So define dummy thermistor 998 value 25. Define define dummy thermistor 999 value 100. You know, so we we do those things. Um, so as we know, we just found those, and right here it says here here are those define the dummy values. So we've already got that. Here were those values we just changed. We got that. So those things are all done. That's all you need to do. That's all you have to do to turn off the temperature on this. You can go through, you can mess with things, and they tell you don't mess with this right here. So just ignore it uh, and let it go. And that, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, if you want to talk about bed temperature control, I went in here and I did change this. Uh, so I turned that off by commenting, double slash of the comment, inline comment, double slash of the inline comment. So I did that on these. Um, you see down here, PID, bed debug, and uh, 120 volt. These are all commented out. You know, these are things you can do if you want. You don't have to. Just be careful when you're commenting things. If you comment something out and then things don't work, you know, you need to know what you did to go back and fix it. So only change the things that we're asking you to change. I, I may change other things. I'm a little more experienced user, obviously, than a lot of people are. So only change these things that were in the SaranBot document because that's the easiest way to go. The only thing left to do in this is to go find our mixing. So let's go do a search for mixing. So we'll go back into our file here, our configuration.h. We're going to do a, go and hit control F to get into there and we're going to type in all caps mixing and we'll find it. So now we found it right here, it's highlighted mixing extruder and here is those settings that we just talked uh, that it shows you within that folder. All right, so they're all here. Um, I already have them. In. They might already be in the file. I can't remember, but it, it tells you to check. So go in and check it. Make sure they're there. If they're not, add them or change the values. They may may not have the right values. It says steppers are two, and the virtual tools are 16. So that you want those changed. So those are things you want to have in there, and that's exactly the same thing as is in here with this 216 that third line is commented out with a double slash right here so it's all done 
So that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Those are all the things to t disable the temperature that you have to do. Now you're ready to build the, the file. Make sure your printer is plugged in. Mine is. It's ready to go. You click the button here. This is upload. It will start running. And it says on the bottom here, it says compiling sketch. Uh, you can see my little turning wheel here and I'm highlighting it. It says compiling sketch. When it's done compiling, it will upload. It will all do it all automatically. And so that will take care of uploading the sketch and then that will, once it's uploaded, your, print, your, your printer will actually, you can, if you watch it while it's doing all this, you'll see the display blank and then it'll power back, it basically turn back off. So what it does, it, did a re, it does a reset after it loads the new software. And somebody's at my door, I'll be right back. While it's still loading. The package arrived. Uh, this is actually a prize that I won uh, from Cisco. Uh, so Cisco makes routers and, and switches and stuff like that. So uh, a, few, a couple weeks ago they did So 440 Makers did a live stream for 24 hours, and during the 24 hours they were giving away prizes to people who were viewing the video, as well as they, want, they asked you to purchase special models that they made. So this was a fundraiser. It was a fundraiser to raise money uh, for the victims of the fires over in Australia. Uh, in that 24 hour period they raised $10,000, but they had prizes that they, were, that they were giving away. These prizes were donated by different companies. Uh, one of the companies that donated was Cisco. They donated this, whatever, I can't even remember what it is. Uh, so uh, I'll open it later because that's not part of this video. Um, so let's see, we've got our, uh, we're all done. It's, it's, already, it's already done uploading. My firmware is now installed. That's it. That's all you have to do. It should be ready to go after that. The uh, temperature should now be turned off and everything should just work. So I hope that was helpful for everybody. This was mainly to do about temperature. It's exactly the same video I think I already did. If you look at the uh, my video on uploading the firmware and uh, Auto Home, uh, it should be exactly the same. I, I'm, so I, I'm confused when people ask me to do something again, but I, I'll call this one the thermal configuration. Uh, so that's what I'm going to call this video. So that's it. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in. If you're watching the video because you're you have a problem with thermal, you'll know why once you watch this video. Uh, so good luck. I hope uh, everything works out for you. Uh, this is Build It. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Um, I, you know, I'm trying to build this channel up. I, as you know, I made my hundred subscriber level not recently, and now I'm up to about 127 subscribers, I think. I think I'm up to 127. So it's just like a couple weeks ago that I got my uh, 128. So it was just a couple weeks ago I got 120 or 100, and I did a giveaway. Um, I don't have sponsors, and, and I don't do all these things. So when you see, I, if I post a product in my descriptions, I, I'm not doing affiliate links. I'm not making any money from it. I guess I could do that, but I, you know. And still, we only have 100 subscribers. I don't know if that will really generate enough income or not. But, I mean, other people are watching my videos too. But um, So maybe they'll buy something from the affiliate link. But, you know, I don't know if I'd make any real money off of it at this time. 
Maybe when I get up to a thousand subscribers, I might start doing the affiliate link stuff. But in the meantime, um, I'm not. So I, I, when I when I post something, I want it to be from the from my heart that I it's something I believe in, and not just because I'm going to make money on it. I use Amazon all the time because I, I'm an Amazon Prime member. I like the two day shipping. A lot of times it's one day shipping because their distribution warehouse is like. Uh, 20 miles from me, so I'm, I'm 20 miles from one of their distribution warehouses. So a lot of times I get stuff the, the very next day, um, and, and it's convenient for me. Sometimes their price anymore. It used to be in the beginning when Amazon first started, their prices were great. Everything was cheaper than everybody else. Now their prices are starting to slowly creep up, and they're becoming where they're almost the same price as other places, but they still have the free shipping, and a lot of places don't have free shipping. And so the free shipping is where I like it best. You know, if I don't have to pay for shipping, that's always a, a great thing. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it. Um, this is Build It, signing out. Have a great one. Thumbs up if you like the video. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all my subscribers. I'm still trying to decide uh, when I'll do another giveaway. Um, you know, maybe I'll do it at 200 subscribers. I don't know. But what you'll notice is that what I did when I did my giveaway, I did not include any new subscribers. When I hit 100 subscribers, I went in and I downloaded all the names that were in my subscriber who subscribed to my channel, and those were the only people in the drawing. I didn't want people joining my channel just to win the prize, and then as soon as the prize is given away, they leave. That was not the purpose of that. The purpose was to reward the people who are following me and who stay with me. So when I get to 200, I might do another giveaway. Uh, I'm trying to decide. You know, once I get big enough, I'll start getting sponsors, and they'll start giving me prizes to give away. Then the, the prizes will get better. Um, you know, if you watch some of the channels, they give away whole prickers. They give away spools and spools of filament. Uh, so what I would, do, you know, what I did last time is I gave away a $50 gift card because those who have the Saram bot aren't going to use the plastic filament or they aren't going to use resin you know, if they if they don't have a resin printer uh, an SLA printer um, you know so they aren't going to use those things so I just made a, a $50 Amazon gift card because one Amazon is in a lot of different countries so it'll still work no matter what country they're in I can go on the Amazon site for Australia or for for France or for England or for whoever, I can go on their Amazon site and I can buy a gift card on their Amazon site in their name. And then they get their gift card and they can buy whatever they want. So if you have a surround bot, you could buy more clay or you could buy something else that would work for, or you buy whatever you want. It's your $50 gift card. So the idea is, is, is for the people who are in 3D printing to be able to buy supplies or buy whatever they need. Uh, in the past, when I did a giveaway, I did a giveaway when I reached when I got to 1,000 followers on Twitter. Uh, I'm at like 1,500 followers on Twitter now. Maybe even more, I don't know. I lose track. It's really, uh, uh, where, is, where is Twitter? There it is. There's my Twitter account. Uh, let's see. I go to me. Okay, so I'm, I'm at 1,495 followers on Twitter, and I follow 1,311 people on Twitter. Uh, there's a fairly large community of people in 3D printing, so if you go on, on it, you can, find, you can find me on here. This is me right here, at Bill underscore Divine, build it, pound SRRF. What's SRRF? If you watch some of my videos, you'll see there's something talking about SRRF. SRRF is Southwestern Rep Rap Festival. I'm trying to organize Rep Rap Festival basically for the West Coast, but Southwest because I'm down in Southern California. And so there's already MRF, which is Midwest Rep Rap Festival, and there's ERF, which is East Coast Rep Rap Festival. And then there's another guy who's trying to organize one that he's calling the Southern Rep Rap Festival. But he, and he asked if he could use my surf name, and I said, no, you can't use my surf name. I already have it. I took out domain names for it already, and so it belongs to me now. And so I don't know if it bothered him or not, but the, you know he can go and put, you know, Southern Rep Rap Festival, but he can't call it S R R F because I took S R R F. Uh, so that's why S R F is after my name. 
And okay, that's it. The video is done. Uh, I'll edit it. I'll post it on my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, best wishes, everybody. Any questions, of course, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and get the questions answered. Uh, and we'll go from there. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Build it out.